Welcome to Yield Max TV. This is Friday. We are here with the market wrap up and our Yield Max and assorted dividend paying ETFs. My um, position here is up $7,000 today, which is mostly based upon the upward momentum of Amazon. Yes, AMSI. Shout out to the AMSI Army. Everyone stay. We are going to do a live email together. Could this be the Oracle's first interview? Are you ready? I'm going to bring ChatGPT. I'm going to bring Curve Funds. I'm going to bring Jacob Chang, everyone together. Hold on. So, AMSI's coming back up. Shout out to the AMSI Army. The QDT hoes and the XDT's pulling up the rear. Okay, Alti, Alti, she's there in all her glory. Let me tell you about Alti. She's not looking so bad lately. She's the best value in town. When you can get a thousand shares for around eleven thousand dollars, and it pays you almost a dollar, if they pay that much, we don't know. And they're changing things up. They're throwing dwarfs. It's like midgets are fighting. All kinds of great things are going on behind the scenes. And look, Alti go up for Oracle. Okay, at Tickle Alti, 3,000 shares is a good amount. Because if we come to the inaccurate, never pay for it, okay, dividend tracker, I won't even give you a link because why bother? Okay, it's not really accurate. It's a ballpark guesstimate. Okay, it's as wrong as max headroom and, and targeted wealth could ever be. Okay, Todd Akins. I don't have any ebooks here, and no, you're not getting my phone number. So, Here's how it's going to go down, okay? Now, I, I, I like Yield Max. I'm familiar. Don't forget, there's a crypto. I mean, a, oops, I slipped. There's an interview possible. I'm going to read it to you. We're going to bring on ChatGPT. So our, our weeklies are going to pay out like this, okay? There's going to be one big week, hopefully, with Ulti, okay? And let's pull Ulti up. I am not a financial advisor by any means. Okay, but you know, I've been watching Ulti for a long time. And around $10, 11 is a good price for Ulti. And what's it made up of? A whole bunch of garbage that a lot of you like anyway. Look, you got Palantir, you got Coinbase, you got your MicroStrategy. Okay, Sentinel-1 is for like STDs or something. I forgot exactly what it was. Cybersecurity, that's it. Okay, you got a little biotech in case you got a severe itch, STD, whatever. Okay, and, and it's really not that bad. Palantir, you all like that. So that's what it's made up of. Okay, so let's see what they can do. Now, back to our story at hand. I have a potential interview with Defiance. Okay, they would love, they love my content apparently, and they would like to have an interview with me. So I got together with ChatGPT, and well, let's, let's, let's go ahead and have ChatGPT read this to us. I'll have my robot read. Tell me what you think in the comments of this response. Oracle said Jacob. As an influencer with multiple channels, including one specifically dedicated to the exciting field of high-income monthly ETFs, I believe an interview would be a great fit. I've always issued a challenge to fund managers, if you want an interview with me, the cost is 1,000 shares of your fund. Yes, you give me 1,000 share as a marketing cost. I'll make this challenge public and document the progress of my 1,000 shares in multiple videos. This would provide great publicity for your fund whether the outcome is positive or negative. I'll, of course, be responsible for any tax implications, and we would kick things off with your interview. Do you accept the 1,000 share ETF challenge? Looking forward to your response. Oracle. <laughs> Hold on, excuse me one second. Send, sending, sending, whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, okay, end of day roundup. Markets are unstable, up and down, okay? We're gonna be have, we're gonna have a long weekend, holiday weekend, things are closed on Monday. We're gonna come back Tuesday. Everybody's gonna be trading this weekend crypto because the stock markets are closed, okay? They're probably gonna be with me in my Discord, in my group. Um, and so I send out the challenge. And you know why I'm up $7,200 today? You know why? Because I told you the main reason I was holding on to AMSI is going to be capital appreciation. Okay. At this point, 
I'm holding it for capital appreciation. And everybody that got in under $20, okay, we're going to ride this one out and see how it goes. So a lot of people are in Ulti. I see by the volume. Jay, we're counting on you. Tell me in the comments, do you think, what do you think they will respond to that email? Do you think I would actually do an interview with them? They got to get that and think I'm crazy, right? I asked ChatGPT and that's the email I decided to send. Tell me in the comments, what do you think? Have a nice day.